Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Jeep Solid Garage. Oh, oh, bad start. Dropped my hat. So I'm glad you're here today. This is going to be just a real quick video on uh, cleaning aluminum. You guys are, might remember when I took the uh, valve cover, not the valve cover, the uh, the timing chain cover off my Jeep, my project Jeep that I'm working on. And where is it? You know, it's a funny day when you're looking around for your timing chain cover off your Jeep. Yeah, seriously, I can't find it. Kind of need that. But obviously, it's got to be around here somewhere. I haven't thrown it out. Ta da! Found it. So this is gonna be just a quick video, just a quick tip on the best way I have found for cleaning aluminum parts like this. So you guys remember when I took this timing chain cover off? Boy, this thing is just dry. Pretty nasty. This thing was just terribly nasty. Looked like the Sahara Desert in here, dried, caked on oil, but also on the outside, just old greasy dirt oil. And I wanted to get this cleaned up nice. And I also need to clean up my aluminum intake manifold. And I'm trying to find a cleaner that is safe to use on aluminum. And I was really struggling to find something that worked. I took this timing chain cover and tried my parts washer on it. And it was like a nice little shower for it. Didn't do hardly anything. I was really honestly kind of disappointed in uh, the grease cutting power of my parts washer. It just didn't do it. I soaked it overnight. It's like, yeah, thanks for the bath. So my struggle has been to find a grease cutter, something that'll really shine this up, clean it up nice without damaging the aluminum. And this is what I found so far. And the biggest struggle is so many cleaners, so many different options, but none of them are necessarily safe to use on aluminum. For example, oven cleaner, this is awesome, absolutely awesome grease cutter, great for cleaning up parts, but not safe for aluminum. And another part of my struggle when I look things up online, when I search Amazon for uh, you know aluminum safe grease cutters, things to clean engine parts, uh, I found a lot of things for mag wheels and you know polishing aluminum, that kind of stuff, but nothing for what I want to use it for. So I tried a few different things and this is honestly the thing I found that worked the best. I will link this in the description below where you can find it. Purple Power, and it doesn't say it's necessarily, you know, safe for aluminum. It does, uh, what does it say about aluminum? It says, do not use on exterior car surfaces, glass, painted surfaces, or wheel rims. So it's like, don't use it on your rims. Test an out of sight area to determine if it's safe and acceptable, blah, blah, blah especially on aluminum. So it does indicate that people try it on aluminum, but you just want to test an inconspicuous area before you use this. You don't want to be using this on your rims and then have them be just dulled and kind of ruined with this. So be careful with it, test an area with it. But as far as cleaning like valve cover or valve covers, yeah, uh, timing chain covers, intake manifolds, things that are aluminum that I'm cleaning on my engine rebuild, this stuff works awesome. Other things I was using, I was really scrubbing and making like no difference. This, I spray it on, let it set for a few minutes and it scrubs right off. So let's give it a try. And we're also gonna wanna use a brush that's safe to use on aluminum. You don't wanna use like a, a harsh metal abrasive brush because you can scratch it up. So this is just a nylon brush. Something just a little bit harsher, a brass brush. So there we go, definitely much better than what it was. I'm gonna soak the whole thing down really good and give it a good scrubbing. But I just wanted to show you on a small area the difference you can see here. And remember, this is after this has been soaked in a parts cleaner overnight, and it still had all this caked on oil that I scrubbed with a brush, couldn't get it off, so. Uh, this purple power it works best as far as what I've found. Let's check this out on the uh, intake manifold. Let me show you how that worked. It came out really good as well. There's no other uh, miracle aluminum safe parts cleaner out there that I know of. So this purple power, it does the job for me. I'll link in the description below. If there's something out there that you guys know that works really well that's safe on aluminum. Uh, leave a comment down below, let me know. 
So yeah, the uh, intake manifold here. So making some good progress on it here. Uh, but like I said, there's no miracle cleaner out there that's just gonna clean this with no scrubbing, at least not that I know of that's safe on aluminum. So let's clean this up a little bit better. All right, so I got it all scrubbed up there. Obviously, you can see I did uh, one side, left the other side uh, dirty. Did that for my thumbnail, actually. But I got the uh, throttle body off there, the uh, fuel rail and all that, so I could clean it up real good. So it's turned out pretty good. But yeah, like I said, it's gonna require quite a bit of scrubbing, you know, with that uh, purple power spraying on there, scrubbing it. It's coming off pretty good, cutting the grease pretty well, shining it up nicely, but if you guys know of a better product, something else that works well on aluminum, sure leave a comment down below let me know i might try it out thanks for watching